Today I want to do a quick rundown of something that we've been installing on these side-by-sides. We use these in a lot of the streetcar applications that we have for our MoTeC products and anything standalone, but this is a, a 52 millimeter gauge um, from BTI Innovations. Um, these gauges are a canned-based gauge, so the only wiring that is required is just power and ground and CAN bus wiring. It's super simple. Um, we've got plug and play kits for these, so there's no wiring for the end user. Um, and these are available for any of the Infinity product line um, or the MoTeC uh, M1 product line. So the cool thing about it is anything that goes into the ECU, um, sensor wise or any of the data that the ECU is capturing, it's all transmitted up to this particular dash. So on the left here, we've got just your standard AEM wideband, and we're using the data from that um, to go into the MoTeC and actually be displayed up here on the uh, BTI gauge. So you can display this in, in AFR or in Lambda, um, but this has 12 pre-configured screens in here. Um, you can set up this light up here to be a shift light so not really applicable in uh, a Razor, but it would be in a Yamaha um, or anything else that has a gearbox for a streetcar or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> these screens are super simple to set up. You just have a, a, a previous and a next here. So as I go next, this particular car has flex fuel. So right now we've got some E85 in it. It's at 55% and you can just scroll through this. We've got fuel pressure coolant temp, air temp, um, here's the Lambda at 1.2 instead of AFR. Um, we've got voltage in here. We've also, this one's pretty cool because a lot of people want to put uh, air fuel gauge and a boost gauge and a coolant temp and all this stuff. This all just comes into one particular gauge. It's, it's super clean install. So really we don't even need this gauge anymore. We just left it because it was already installed in the car. But as you can see here, we've got our, our current boost pressure and it'll hold a peak for us. And then we've also got a target. So down here, we've got a, a four position boost trim switch. Um, so we have our low target at 14. We turn it to the next, we've got it at 19. We turn it at 24 and then 30 for all the way up. So this is just something I set up and you can just roll this and know what boost level you're gonna be targeting. So that one's pretty nice. This this gives us a couple of different things on one screen. We go to the next. This is just kind of everything on one uh, screen. So this gives us boost pressure, gives us air fuel in AFR, gives us RPM, oil pressure, air temp, fuel pressure, um, timing, throttle position, ethanol, and the coolant temp currently. So you can scroll through these, set these up however you want. Um, you get 12 screens. It'll also capture the calculated horsepower and torque through the engine if you're using a, a MoTeC M1. Um, if you want to change something on a screen, you just hit the middle button here and you can cycle through a variety of different channels that you can capture. Um, super simple to set up. Um, once it's wired in, you just simply push some buttons on here, kind of get what you want, um, hit accept. Now you've got a different channel up on that screen. So uh, you can use it to show your speedo, um, gear, ambient pressure, ambient temp, injector pulse width, what fuel trims are active, injector duty cycle. It's got a lot, so <clears throat> super cool. These are 375 uh, is what we sell them for. Give us an email or a phone call at codyphillipsracing.com. Uh, you can look them up on our website or hit us up on social and uh, we can ship these out ready to plug into your razor, whether you have an Infinity or uh, one of our MoTeC products.